Good afternoon, gentlemen. Anderson, why don't you say hello to our mayor, Mr. Tillman, here? How do you do, Anderson? Mr. Mayor, Mr. Barber. Well, this looks like the place to be, even for me. <laughs> yeah. Nothing like a barber shop for a jaw on your socks off. Where are you from, anyway, Anderson? Thornton, Mississippi, sir. Just a spit from Tennessee. Well, then you must know how we all feel down here. We don't take to outsiders telling us how to live our lives. And I'm here to tell you, our Negroes were happy until those beatnik college kids came down here steering things up. Before that, there wasn't anybody complaining. <laughs> Nobody dared. <laughs> we got a real peaceful little community down here, Anderson. Of course, they're just like any other folks, I reckon, and push them too far. Well, I figure it, uh, it's like three sticks of old dynamite. You shake it up, and we're gonna be scraping bodies off the street. I'm just down here to investigate the missing three kids, ask some questions. Oh, if it's all boiled down to gravy, there wouldn't be enough to cover up a chicken fried steak. Them kids you're looking for, I just about bet you a shiny new dime they're setting up in Chicago right now, drinking a cold beer and having a big laugh about all the commotion they've stirred up down here. Well, I sure hope so. Or you can tell your bosses people got the wrong idea about the South. You know what I'm talking about. Everybody running around ragged, backwards, and illiterate, eating sow belly and corn pone three times a day. Simple fact is, Anderson, we got two cultures down here. White culture and the colored culture. Now, that's the way it always has been. That's the way it always will be. The rest of America don't see it that way, Mr. Mayor. The rest of America don't mean jack shit. You in Mississippi now. Uh, that's for sure. Mm. What's the score, Mr. Barber? St. Louis on top, five to nothing. What the Indian is? Bottom of the seventh. You like baseball, do you, Anderson? Yeah, I do. You know, it's the only time when a black man can wave a stick at a white man and not start a riot. 